This is an experiment to show how the garbage collector works with containers. In general, Unreal adds a garbage collection system to C++. If an object is no longer referenced, it will be collected by the garbage collector and freed. The way to normally protect objects from garbage collection is to expose them to the garbage collector by making them a U property. For containers, it works the same. While a container itself cannot be freed, the contents of the container could potentially be freed. So here we have a T array, which is a pointer to an object. And this object is a plain old U object that I have created up here. And so we have two arrays, one that is a U property, which I have labeled as GC safe, and the other, which is not a U property and is labeled not safe. Now I've done the same thing for the other two main primary containers. We have a set, which is a U property, and we have a map, which is a U property. And then we also have a set, which is not a U property and a map that is not a U property. And so we have parity for all of the containers. And lastly, we have weak object pointers. Weak object pointers can point to an object, but they won't create a reference to it. And when that object is freed, our weak object pointer is able to inspect and see that the object was freed and label it as stale. And so we can use this to see the true state of objects in regards to whether the garbage collector has collected them. The problem with not setting up a U property on a container is that this pointer will continue to dangle and be a dangling pointer and can cause undefined behavior. So let's run the experiment. I've created some console commands to run the test and we can hop over to the engine and play. And so our first test is to spawn some objects. So we type command dot GC containers test spawn. And now we've, we're running this function on our actor, which is going through all our containers, emptying them out, going through our weak references and setting them to null pointer. And so now here's where the test starts. For the array, we spawn two new objects. And again, this is just a plain old Eve object. And then we have our GC safe container. We push the saved object. And in our not safe container, we push the unsafe object. And then we set up our weak references to point to those. So we can see that our weak references has an address to a valid object. And the other one for the not safe also has a valid address, an object. Our arrays have entries, and there is one entry in each. And we do the same thing for the sets. And so we spawn two objects. We add those two objects to the set, and we set up our weak references for tracking. Do we do the same thing for the map? So we spawn two objects. And for the map, I just made the key and the value the same. So we just insert those two into the maps. And now we can see that our maps have objects in them. And we set up our weak references for tracking. And now the garbage collection doesn't run all the time. It's pretty sporadic. So there's a chance that we won't detect a problem. So I continue and I run this command to check the pointers. This will loop over our objects and print the state of them. And so if I run to the end, we can see here that we have in the safe array a valid address. It appears valid. The weak pointer has a valid address. And in the unsafe array, it appears to have a valid address, but the weak pointer has already been nulled out. So this means the garbage collector has already ran, even though there hasn't been that much time. The dangerous part of this is that the container still thinks that the pointer is valid. So if we look at the container, it has a address and it looks like it's valid memory, but it's not. And so if we were to try to use it, it would be undefined behavior. We could create a crash or worse, we could create a memory stop situation where we overwrite memory somewhere else. And so that would be pretty hard to track down. So I'm going to spawn again. Then I'm going to test the pointers. So sometimes you can see the garbage collector hasn't ran yet. And the pointers appear valid. To force this test, you can do gc.force garbage collect every frame, set that to one. And then we can test the pointers again. So now we can see that our weak refs have a stale value, but the safe ones are not stale. The U property containers, so the so the array, the set, and the map, which are labeled with U property, are keeping these objects from being garbage collected. But the unsafe ones are not. And again, that is dangerous because it appears to still be valid in the container. And so this is a major source of bugs when using containers in Unreal. So just want to make sure you are aware of that and watch out for it.
We'll explore containers more in detail in further videos.